Hey everyone, here are three quick tips for automatically relinking textures in Maya. I'm using Maya 2022 and V-Ray for this example, but the solutions can be applied to any render engine and version of Maya. Broken texture links happen whenever you move your Maya project around or move and rename your texture map folders. This happens a lot, especially if you're in school and you are constantly switching machines, so I've helped many students solve these issues. Just make sure you don't start manually relinking the maps as that is a huge time waster for something that can be easily automated. So with that, let's jump to method one, with method one being set your Maya project. So if I actually go ahead and open up my Windows Explorer here, you can see that I have my Maya project folder here, which is just inside of this Maya relink textures example. Now, you can see that there's this workspace mail folder or file, and if I actually open this up and go ahead and just open it up with Notepad, you'll see that this is essentially what Maya is using and remembers all of this information wherever you take the folder, okay? So you can see, actually, if I do a quick search for source and source images, source images is what Maya by default uses to look for texture maps, all right? So you can see that I actually have my a maps folder here and it's not called source images. So I go into maps and you can see that I have all my texture maps here, but if I look in Maya, they're not being applied here, all right? And to fix that, you can simply go to file, set project, or right under project, there's project window. Project window is where you can specifically tell Maya, I want my source images to look in the source images folder or the maps folder. So I can actually go ahead and simply change this from maps to source images or vice versa, change it here. I typically just like to keep it default since it makes it very consistent between, uh, you know, teaching and for students that are moving from machine to machine or different versions of Maya. So that will work just fine. So once I do that, I want to then go ahead and take a look and reopen the project. So now that this is source images here, I want to go ahead now and do a file open and then reopen the project. Now, this is assuming that you've already set the project. So if you haven't set the project, you can either do it right here in the open dialog or you can go to file set project and then it's going to say, okay, which folder do you want to set your project in? And this is the My Relink Textures folder. So I'll set that there. And then I'll reopen the file and it should automatically or start the relinking process. So I'll go ahead, uh, not really save anything here and just let that run. So that went ahead and opened up. And then if I go and hit the texture view here, right here on the icon, you can see that the textures are now being applied in the editor or in the viewport here. And if I simply go ahead and do a render, let's take a look at what happens here. Now, something weird is gonna happen, and you can actually see that it it's finding the thumbnails and the sample textures, but it's not actually relinking come render time. So when that happens, I try a couple uh, other things. So we'll go on to method two. Method two is using the file path editor. So if I go to Windows, general editors, and then I go to file path editor, you can see here that it's going to pop open the editor. And I'm going to bring that over here. And you can see down here, it's V-Ray is complaining. It cannot find those textures, right? So it's clearly in a link that, or in a path that it can't find. So if I go here in the file path editor, you can see that here are all of the textures and it's finding them, but it's not reapplying them. And when this happens, you know, I can go ahead and just kind of show a quick example. If I go ahead and just actually just change this, so I'll go ahead and change this back to maps here. And then what I want to do is refresh the list. And now you can see that the file paths are broken and it can't find them. And it's trying to reference the old path. And this is just a sample file, Maya project from chaos group. So instead I'm going to just click repath files here. So you don't really need to click anything. So I'll just go ahead and minimize all this. Repath files, and I'm gonna to browse to where that folder is, and I'm gonna find that maps folder right here. So I'll go ahead and hit set, and go ahead and repath, and let's see what this is gonna do. And just make sure that you do select the top piece over here, and then go ahead, let me actually redo that. 
And once you repath that, it'll go ahead and look in that maps folder. Just make sure to select the top node and hit a repath. That's what that little arrow was saying. It said it, nothing was selected. Okay. So if you go ahead now with all of the resolve textures and using the maps folder, if I go ahead and do a quick sample render, let's see what this looks like. Now we can see all of the textures showing up and everything's looking pretty good. And I'm liking where that is. So I'm going to actually go ahead and stop that. And I'm going to do one more example, one more method, just in case uh, something, uh, one of these two methods don't work. So if I go to the my relink folder here, I'm going to just call this textures and I'm going to reopen the project. So all the links are broken again. Okay, so I reopened the file and all of the textures are unresolved and you can see that none of them are showing up here. So the last method that I like to do is actually my favorite and it's using a custom script. It's actually right here. You can find it on high end uh, 3D and it's this really old uh, script here called Texture Path Genie and I've been using this since probably my 2012. I mean, it was created back, yeah, back a good while and just keep this with you on you're in the cloud or USB and I've pulled this out for students when they've just they're cramming and they're trying to get textures automatically relinked and neither resetting the Maya project or using file path editor work this one always works all right so the way that you want to do that is like I said go ahead and download texture path genie and once you do that I already have that downloaded and that is right here inside of my scripts folder and I just put it right there. Already went ahead and extracted it and I wanna just simply grab this uh, file, this Python file. So what I'm gonna do is open up our script editor here so you can see that. And then I'm gonna grab the Windows Explorer and simply drag this Python script. Actually, I need to make sure to go into Python mode here and drag over that Python script right in here and it'll go ahead and do that and populates the Python window. Then what I want to do is find whatever shelf that I'll probably want to regularly use this. And then you can save this to shelf right here. Okay, you have this right here. So you can do save to shelf. If I hover over that, you'll see save script to shelf. You go ahead and do that. And then we can just call it text path genie and hit okay. And there you go. It goes ahead and saves that to the script or you can just automatically just execute and run this uh, here. So unfortunately, it turns out that Texture Path Genie no longer works in my 2022, but it basically works from 2010 all the way up to 2020 without any issues. So uh, I was just using that in the last version of Maya. Very simple to use, very simple to run, and just a good backup to have, uh, as well as the file texture manager for Maya 2020. So if the two methods that I didn't show, which was setting the project and setting project here and then using Windows file path editor here. If these methods don't work, then I recommend taking a look and finding a script that automates it. Uh, but uh, yeah, those are the three methods that I always use for helping students relinking textures. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, so with that, take care everyone.